Sam, thank you. We are just three days away from the phase two reopening and you can expect to see indoor restaurants, hotels, gyms and nail salons reopening. And Governor Lamont says face masks should remain a part of your daily life. Ahead of the reopening, New Haven is hosting a webinar to give an overview of the reopening guidelines for city businesses. This includes restaurants, nail salons and gyms. It's happening tomorrow morning at 1130 a.m. Earlier today, we spoke with Joe Brennan from the CBIA about what reopening means for businesses. Well, it's been huge. I mean, you know, obviously your expenses are down if you're not operating, but to have no revenue come in uh, for an extended period of time is extremely difficult. We were encouraging everybody to uh, apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, and I know many, many businesses in Connecticut have uh, done that and gotten some money to keep people on payroll for a period of time. If you are a small business that missed the June 12th deadline to get your thermometers and face mask, the CBIA recommends you heading to the DECD website where they have a list of suppliers you can contact. But the good news doesn't mean we should let down our guard. While hospitalizations have been down 75 percent since March, Governor Lamont wants people to continue to practice safety measures like wearing face masks and socially distance. Numbers for granted. They are good news and they're not automatic and they're thanks to a lot of the good work that you are doing in terms of social distancing. And Lamont pushing the message a face mask should remain a part of our daily reality, even launching a new public service campaign promoting mask wearing in public with the slogan, if you have to ask, wear a mask. A lot of people are collecting unemployment benefits and the federal government has put an extra $600 on there. Uh, and that's a good thing. It's a bridge to a job. But remember, those uh, extra benefits uh, run out in about a month on July 25th. So now is the time to be really focused on getting back to work. With efforts to get people back to work, the state has launched the Connecticut Back to Work Initiative. Two free remote job training programs have been made available to those unemployed. Metrics Learning, which focuses on it, business analysis and project management roles, and 180 skills focusing on manufacturing jobs. The state also partnering with Indeed to host a virtual job fair from June 16th through the 18th. And to learn more about the virtual event and job training opportunities in the state, visit the Fox 61 website or download the Fox 61 News app.